Canned foods are subject to the same level of inspection as fresh produce, meat and dairy to ensure they're contaminant free. And yet it's the cans themselves that worry a group of environmental organizations. They tested 21 food cans from major Canadian retailers, 18 of them contained BPA in their lining. BPA is an industrial chemical that prevents food spoilage in cans. Research has shown it may be linked to increased risk of cancers, obesity and neurological problems in children, in part because bisphenol A is a known hormone disruptor. Health Canada did label BPA a toxic substance in 2010, even banning it from baby bottles. So to see this many years later, it's still so common in cans. That's a huge problem because we've only learned more and more about how harmful this chemical can be. And still, Health Canada maintains very low levels of BPA do not pose a health risk to the general population. In the U.S., the FDA calls it safe at the current levels occurring in foods, and European officials go even further, saying there's no health risk to consumers of any age group, including unborn children and infants. And yet the independent scientific consensus is mounting that bisphenol A does pose a risk to human health. I think that there's, a, again, a burden of proof that needs to be accumulated. And I think that we're rapidly moving towards that burden of proof. And two companies, Del Monte and Campbell's, have already announced they plan to phase out bisphenol A from their cans. But that still raises questions about the alternative materials they're considering. Not all substitutes are the same and the consequences on human health are still not known. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.